Hello, this is Nitin Dahad uh, with the Times, and I'm here at the Census Converge uh, conference and exhibition in Santa Clara, California, and talking to Brett uh, Mullineau, who's the uh, who's responsible for security products at Microchip. Brett, hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Um, so, Brett, uh, you, you've um, launched a, a, an extended version of Trust Manager yes. that allows field over the. Uh, firmware updates, is that right? Yes, that is correct. Tell us a little bit about that. So uh, last year we came out with a provisioning flow called Trust Manager that allows for in-field provisioning of internet connected devices. So okay. that delivers secure keys and certificates to the device. Now what we've done recently is that we updated it to have a feature where you can upload a firmware package and just send it to your fleet of devices at any point in time. So, so the difference is being able to do the firmware as opposed to just provisioning? Just uh, secure credentials, yes. And, and that's being done with Kodelsky IoT? Yes, so we've partnered with Kodelsky IoT to use their Keystream Cloud in order to um, pair it with our silicon so that we have a complete infrastructure for firmware updates and maintaining the life uh, cycles of internet connected devices. So, so typically what, what, what is this going into? So this will go into many different applications, but anything from your coffee maker, uh, home appliances, uh, to industrial settings where they need to update things regularly for uh, compliance or things like that. And the, the, this relies on a chip which is in this system, so you can yes. only get this firmware of the upgrade if you have that chip already in, in your system, is yes, that right? Yes, that would be correct. It would be the Trust Manager version of the ECC 608. Which is one this of these small, four here. Yes, okay. so these are all ECC 608 devices, but one of them is a Trust Manager version. Okay, uh, and so uh, that was launched last year? Or? So Trust Manager was last, launched last year, and we were at Sensors last year as well with the infield provisioning demo. Mm. But now with the FOTA, we are delivering firmware. Yes. So, so, what, uh, what are your customers saying? What, why is this important? To so the biggest reason this is important is because of the Cyber Resilience Act in Europe. So the CRA is mandating that you have certain security protocols, such as maintaining the life cycle of the uh, security throughout the life cycle of the device, but also um, delivering patch updates. And those can be software or firmware, but Microchip Solution has found that it is the most secure to do firmware updates. Oh, so CRA includes the patch updates as well? Yes, oh, the okay. patch okay. updates are mandated by the CRA. Okay. And there's heavy fines? Yes, there are heavy fines for non-compliance. So doing business with the Europe, you will need to comply with Cyber Resilience Act. And what's been the interest in these products so far from your customers? From this um, update, sorry. So we've had some different ones. Um, they're mostly um, for different purposes, whether it be customizing to the user that is using it. So the, um, for instance, if you have an oven, you can download new firmware depending on who's using it or what you're cooking. You can also um, do secure updates in order to just um, add new features. For instance, if you're able to um, have a subscription model or uh, just for compliance with the CRA. And you've been working on security now for two or three years with Microchip, haven't yes, you? Yes, that is you correct. You came straight out of internship. Mm -hmm. uh, so how have you been enjoying it? It's been a great time. I do love Microchip. So what's the, the biggest thing that you've learned in, in all this world of security? It is an evolving and ever-changing field, yeah. um, and there will always be new updates to security, and you'll have to continuously keep applying and that's why you need to continuously do patch updates to your IoT devices because all security will eventually be broken we're just preventing it for longer <laughs> thank you thank you for Brett sure. yes thank you